You walked me blind and backwards into this mess, kid. Who the hell was that jester back there? Atabai. An assassin. My mentor. So you're all part of some daffy religion? We're assassins and we follow a creed, ah. But it does not command us to act or submit. Only to be wise. Oh, do tell. I'd love to hear it. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. This is the world's only certainty. Everything is permitted. I like the sound of that. Thinking what I like and acting how I please. You parrot the words, B. The way forward's blocked. That's a door, I reckon. Aye. There should be some way to open it. A mechanism somewhere. I like a capstan. Mm. Those blocks up there. Try moving them. Easy, Kenway. This ain't like climbing ratlins. <sighs> You lot, them Templars have been chasing them. Until you came along and mucked things up, it was us chasing them. We had them running scared. But they have the upper hand now. The door's mechanism seems to be broke. Let's find another way around. Follow on, man. Jump! Still drawing breath? Enough to curse you with, kid. Great treasure beyond. Treasure? Right. Whatever's waiting at the end of this path had better be worth my time. That'll depend on you. How's that? What I'm taking you to see may spin your head right round. I only hope you can take the shock of it. I can handle myself. The grand prize your mentor asked me to see. Looks nothing like the man they call the Sage, I'm sorry to say. Keep your trousers tied up. With one more riddle to solve. These statues are like the ones we've seen before. But with pictures carved on them. There's pictures carved on the floor as well. Not of the same sort. There's a correspondence then. But what? Them animals on the statues and them on the floor. Do you see it? Aye. 
One group is predators, the other is prey. Which predator goes with which prey? That's the question. Right, there's your correspondence. Match a predator with its prey. Might be you can use the lever to move them drawings on the ground. I was just about to say the same. Seems that's not the right position. I know, I know. Stones are counterweights. Lend me a hand here, will you? Jesus, that's him, the sage. But this thing must be hundreds of years old. Older still. You're certain it's him? Aye. It's the eyes that mark him. Did the Templars say why they wanted this sage? They drew some of his blood into this small glass cube. Like this one? Aye. They meant to ask him about the observatory too, but he escaped. Huh. Finished here. What the hell did I just see back there? Jim. Quiet. The statue in the temple. Was that the man you saw in Havana? Spitting likeness, I. It seems another sage has been found. The race for the observatory begins anew. Is that what we're whispering? This is your doing, Captain Kenway. 
The maps you sold to the Templars have led them straight to us. And now the agents of two empires know exactly where we operate. Leave this to me, Mentor. They have taken Edward's crew as well. I wonder what their lives are worth to him. Take this. You'll attract no attention, and take fewer lives. Use them darts on this one coming now. Quick! Quiet and effective, see? A slaver who brought these soldiers, or the prince himself. Stop there, you! Plague and perish.
I may thank you later, if you manage to live through this. Who's out there? See that mangy old codger? He's a Dutch slaver called Lawrence Prince. Living now like a king in Jamaica. Bastard's been a target for years. Bloody hell, we nearly had him. By God, you bravos are a cheery bunch, eh? All frowns and furrowed brows. Captain Kenway, you have remarkable skills. Oh, thanks, mate. It comes natural. But you're churlish and arrogant. Prancing around in a uniform that you have not earned. Everything is permitted. Isn't that your motto? I absolve you of your errors in Havana and elsewhere. But you are not welcome here. Sorry, mate. Wish it were otherwise. Cheery bunch of mates you've got. You deserve scorn, Edward. Prancing about like one of us, bringing shame to our cause. And what is that? Your cause? To be blunt, we kill people. Templars and their associates. Folks who'd like to control all the empires on Earth. Claiming it's in the name of peace and order. Sounds like to cast his dying words. You see? It's about power, really. About lording over people. Robbing us of liberty. That another message from one of your friends? Aye. I'll show you. I know you ain't exactly impressed by our creed. So would the sight of money make you more friendly to our ways? As ever. <laughs> then work these contracts around the West Indies for us, and we'll pay you. As simple as that. Follow on. I have one last secret to share. How long have you been one of these assassins, eh? Couple years now. I met Atabai in Spanish Town. And there was something about him I trusted. A sort of wisdom. Is all this his idea? His clan? No, sir. Assassins and Templars have been at war for thousands of years. All over the world. The natives of this new world had a philosophy like our cream for as long as they've been here. And when Europeans arrived, our group sort of matched up. Cultures and religions and languages keep folks divided. But there's something in the Assassin's Creed that crosses all boundaries. 
A fondness for life and liberty. Sounds a bit like Nassau, no? <laughs> Close, but not quite. Here we are. Take that stone you discovered from the Mayan Stella. That's one. Couple dozen more and you're in. And what will this effort gain me? Respect for a start. From the men and women you put in danger here. And if that ain't enough... There's a treasure behind that door. Something many centuries old. I reckon if you made the effort... ...to find every last one of those, it'd be worth your while. So are you sailing back to NASA? When I have another contract there, right? This is my home for now. <laughs> <laughs>